Hello everyone and welcome back to my playthrough of Vampire the Masquerade Redemption. Last time we were in level 2 of Joseph's Tunnels and still going through it. Um, getting better at the combat. Still nowhere near. I, I, I would still consider myself an intermediate with this kind of uh, combat mechanic. But certainly getting better. Um, we are now in level 3 of Joseph's Tunnels, and we look, it looks like we got some kind of a, a labyrinth or a maze. Some type of Escher-esque um, stairwell here. The Chronicle of Cain. In the beginning, there was only Cain. Cain, who sacrificed his brother out of love. Cain, who was cast out. Cain, who was cursed with the lust for blood. It is Cain from whom we all come. Our sire's sire. Interesting. Okay, so there's different signs above the doors. No idea what that means. Well, let's go up first. Let's see where this leads us. What is this a sign of? Is that a monster screaming in the background? Like Godzilla? It looks like a castle with a flag. And uh, what are those called? Parapets or something? That was not the right way. I can't even tell what I'm looking at. I literally cannot tell what I'm looking at. For the passing of an age, Cain lived in the land of Nod, in loneliness and suffering. For an eon, he remained alone. But the passing of memory drowned his sorrow, and so he returned to the world of mortals. To the world of mortals. To the world his brother and his brother's children had created. Okay. Is are those symbols supposed to be indicative of like what we're reading? Okay, Godzilla. Keep it down, man. Let's try this one up here. Okay, I think that was right. Though he became ruler of a mighty nation, Cain was still alone. For none was as he. His sorrow grew once again. Then he committed another great sin. For he begat progeny, of whom there were only three. But from them came more progeny, Cain's grandchildren. And then Cain said, An end to this crime. There shall be no more. And as Cain's word was law, his brood obeyed him. The city stood for many ages and became the center of a mighty empire. Hmm. Fascinating. So maybe this? I... It's 
kind of what it seems like to me. No, that was wrong. Deluge, a great flood that washed over the world. The city was destroyed, and its people along with it. Again, Cain fell into a great sorrow and went into solitude, becoming as a dog amidst the wastes, and leaving his progeny to their own ends. They came to him and begged him to return, to help them rebuild the city. But he would not come with them, saying the Flood had been sent as punishment for his having returned to the world of life and subverting the true law. It's very fitting that this kind of story would be in a Nosferatu uh, cavern, you know? Or dwelling, I'll call it. Um, okay, so I'm guessing because the Flood, um, that is pretty indicative of a flood to me. Okay. And then we have red and... I don't know what's up there. A great war was waged. The elders against their children. And the children slew their parents. The rebels then built a new city and brought to it 13 tribes. It was a beautiful city, and its people worshipped them as gods. They created new progeny of their own, the fourth generation of Canaanites. But they feared the Jihad, and it was forbidden for those children to create others of their kind. Although this city was as great as Cain's, eventually, it grew old. As do all living things, it slowly began to die. Their city was destroyed and their power extinguished. With their authority gone, all were free to create their own broods. And soon, there were many new Cainites who ruled across the face of the earth. So the jihad is uh, when, you know, the the elders uh, come back from the dead and basically wipe out the whole planet. That's it's basically Gehenna. Uh, okay, so that was red. What is this? I mean, I'm gonna guess it's this one. Because the first one we entered was red. Am I right? I'm gonna save. Oh fuck! Let's lose thy oh. These guys were easy. Okay, someone needs to let Godzilla loose, cause what the fuck? Stand thy ground. Okay, we got actual Nosferatu in here. Head back. Return to me. I stay. Then you guys stay here. I shall depart. I shall depart.
let loose thy rap. <laughs> Attend me. I'm really glad people left uh, these bottles of blood just lying around. Oh, ow. Really hurt me though. Uh, where does this go up to? Alright. Wow. Oh god. Oh god. There are vampires up there. to me well um, like you were a fucking child that needs to be led by the fucking hand come on attend me return to me attend me you know what if I die A bag of gold just hiding behind here. How convenient. <gasps> this guy was trying to come back. But he failed. Unless that's what he wants me to think. To the abyss with me. I'm just looking to see if there's more enemies around. Another one? I mean, I'll take them. I will not say no. Is he disturbing the repose of the dead? Kristoff. One who prizes the living over the dead. Oh. Has entered the halls of King Bakhmab the First. Thy canine flesh must be unraveled from thy canine bones, that thou may enter the halls of the dead, naked of all what thy canine experience. <gasps> uh, you might want to, uh, yeah. Blood! I crave blood! 
The beast roars within me. The beast roars within me. You know what the main problem is? I awakens. Um the here, no, stop. And death is near. We're barely doing any damage to the guy. Yeah, okay. Okay, so I got my blood decks and my blood strings here, and let's see how it goes. One. Got him. To the abyss. To the abyss. Come on. Behold, Christoph. Nice. Safe than death. And worse than unlife is a vampire. Thou spoke true. Thanks. That was very insightful. So that was it? You didn't even leave anything. All this just to get into the cathedral. Take the rubbies. Oh, there it is. The reliquary of St. George. Okay, at least it's not just sitting in my inventory. Uh, okay, I thought we were going to have to go to the cathedral itself, but apparently not. You guys okay? Heading back should be fairly easy. I could use a scroll to just warp back to town, but I don't want to. I don't want to waste them. Um, yeah. And besides, there might be like a story beat or something. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna cut to the next. If there anything happens, then I'll cut there. If not, then I'll just cut to when I get to town. Or to the prince, rather. Behold the reliquary with the arm of St. George. I pray thee, tell us of those that are missing. Yes, thou hast done well. Yes. We shall tell thee a tale to curdle thy blood. Thy absent friends and vanished allies now dwell in Vienna at the chantry of the damnable clan Tremere. They abduct mortals and turn them into ghouls that they may have foot soldiers in their bloody war against the Zemitsi. But now the Tremere have undertaken to abduct their fellow vampires in violation of all Canite law. They conjoin the flesh of many vampires to create demonic gargoyles to fight the Zemitsi. 
Such are the ways of those that did once plunder the power of Cain by committing an unspeakable act upon a grandchild of Cain. Where have they taken the slaves? We know not, but our spies have ferreted out their slave master. His name is Ardan and he dwelleth in a secret Tremere Chantry hidden within an alchemist shop in Golden Lane. I know the one. We seek thy princely permission to attack him and liberate such slaves as he has taken. Such dispensation I do not give lightly, for we of Clan Ventru have lately joined in an alliance with the Tremere. We do use the Tremere for our own ends against the hated Zemitsi clan. Yet, for their crimes against my city, the Tremere must pay a debt of blood. We do bestow our princely dispensation upon thee. Thou mayst assault Arden's chantry and liberate such Cainite slaves as he has taken. May we liberate mortal slaves as well, or does the prince care not for those whose blood sustains us? Or say nothing. Uh, I'm gonna ask him. May we liberate mortal slaves as well, or does the prince care not for those whose blood sustains us? I see that a Katarina the Wise has not yet tamed the impertinent tongue of this child. I shall assist her in the chore. Oh. <clears throat> now that thou hast paid the price, I give thee full dispensation to liberate such mortals as thou findeth within Arden's chantry. Now get thee from my sight. Okay. Ah, lovely, lovely, lovely. So we still don't have blood decks. Red gates. How much is awe? 349. Celerity is also good. 609. Yeah, wow. Okay, I'm going to keep raising my decks as much as I can. You know what? I'll leave it at 65 for now. Um, or you know what? We'll do 60. Um, I'm going to raise feed. See, I wonder what raising feed does. Is it like it drains the blood faster or the ability to feed like the grabbing them is like stronger, is like better, you know? I, I don't know if that's like a thing with dex or if it's actual feed discipline. Um... Yeah, I, I don't want to cause fear. Because, again, last thing I need is for him to keep running away. Awe could be useful. Eyes of the Beast, increase visual senses. Cast on self. Potence is always pretty good. Grants automatic damage. Fortitude. You 
You know what? Instead of blood decks, I'm just going to raise my regular decks again. It's just 61. Yeah. Okay, and we'll leave the 294 points for next time. All right. Your deck needs to go up too, sir. Cloak of Shadows conceals the user from sight. That's pretty cool. So Feral Claws, you're almost at max. But I'm not going to spend 5,000 points on it for right now. Immerse the user into the earth, allowing safe rest. So what does that do? Like, do you heal? Okay, you know what? I'm actually going to look some of these up. Okay, so everyone's pretty much saying Earth Meld is pointless because um, while you do actually go into the Earth to, like, basically kind of recover, any attempt to pull you out will just cancel it altogether, which enemies are going to do. So they're saying Earth Meld is pointless. Uh, Dread Gaze, yeah. So what I would actually do is I'm going to raise to 60 as well. Go to increase your blood healing. It still leaves you with a thousand. Um, let's give you higher celerity. Yeah. And we'll save the, the point. Actually, we'll just put it in the... Might as well. Okay. So Shambling Hordes has been kind of useless for us right now because there have been no dead bodies to summon zombies. Bigger more takes control of a targeted dead creature again. Calls forth the wraith to aid. Minimum perception fifty. She doesn't even have the perception. Oh, she can do spirits touch. Okay, I'm gonna give her a point in this, or so at least she can psychic projection. It allows exploration with an unseen astral form. That's pretty cool. But I'm not going to spend a thousand points on it right now. But at least now we can kind of ident start identifying stuff. 15 blood, wow. It's expensive. Um, blood healing as well. And see, here's the thing. Do I want to start? Yeah, you know what? She's going to be in melee for most of the time. Because I don't want her to keep casting magic if, if it's going to be like blood magic. Because blood, it's easy to get, but it's also hard to get, if that makes sense. It might be a wasted thing that I'm doing, but whatever. If she's going to be in melee for the time being, I want her to at least kind of be able to hit. Even if she only has 15 strength and... Yeah, regardless. Okay. So invade the Tremere Chantry. But before we do that, I'm actually going to sell my stuff again. Well, actually... Um, mm. 
So actually, wait. Do we give her... It's an evil axe. Chance of causing frenzy and wielder. Max 40 humanity. Well, I'm definitely going to be going the humanity route, so I'm not going to be using that. Good thing that uh, both, you know, items that we got have been useless to us. It's fantastic, isn't it? But hey, I guess more money to sell. Okay, so... You can have that. You can have that. And that. And that. And that. And that is all. <laughs> How much does a dirt do? 15 lethal. No. She can do better. Gauntlets of Stamina. Stamina plus 5. Oh, so it seems like he's got different items every time. Ooh. Yeah, I'll take that. You got more? Fucking A. I don't know why I didn't have that last time. Good day to you, young sir. Mm. Ooh, an exquisite bastard sword. If you got an exquisite rapier, then we'll talk. What have you got? Albert, 4576. Minimum 50, though. Good Can you even use it? Cannot. You're not even close. Good day to you, young sir. Can't even use that one. So we're gonna have to have uh, your strength go up. Sell rubies, apparently. Good day to ye, young sir. Good day to ye. All right, and I think that will do it for this episode. Who goes there? No one. We didn't do anything. God, they're so racist. It's like the LAPD or something against vampires. Um, yeah, so finally got through the tunnels. I can only wait to see what horrors await for me in the apothecary, but we will save that for next time. In the meantime, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Take care. Take care.